Hello, I'm John Proxy, and this is episode 30 of my Final Fantasy XII International Adventure on Channel John of the West. Let's get going, shall we? Ah. I know, for a change, let's kill these monsters. Ooh, somebody leveled up. Who was that? Van. So let's replace Van with Volthia. But I will control Bash. Minus the Gambit, so I can actually... Does he have any interesting techniques? I've got Libra. I missed! Oh, that was wonderful. Uh, obviously, it's something I'm supposed to use on enemies, but, uh... these axe beaks like it's going out of fashion and believe me it's not going out of fashion it's in fashion I dictate what the fashion is and I say killing whatever just happens to be in front of me is fashionable bloody hell that's wow it's a lot of gill it feels like something I shouldn't have picked up like that was one of the ones that prevents me from getting the zodiac sphere hopefully not Let's check out what's on the top right. What's that? Just background stuff. Let's not walk on that. Let's walk around the enemy. Make the fight more dynamic. It's nice how his uh, pole arm just floats on his back. It's convenient. Let's have a sip of orange. Wow. Nope. Uh, yeah. Hey guys. For change, let's not walk over those. Oh, neat. Ah. Uh, do you remember Final Fantasy VIII where they all used to run in line? Ah, uh, those were the days. But if they did walk in line, I'd be less likely to uh, accidentally step on bombs. Ah, golly. Oh, I said that last time, I didn't need to say it again, did I? I don't need to say a lot of things, but I do anyway! Because that's the kind of guy I am. Uh, you know what we're due? We're due a license grid upgrade thingy. That's all we're due. Alright. I'm sure there's a tortoise thing to do around here. I'm not looking at any guides this time. What's Vossler doing? No, look, it's two exclamation marks. Oh my god, treasure! I've said it before, but I really like their little faces. I mean, look at it. Look at his little face. I was looking at his little face! Never mind, I'll look at his little faces. Another time. Uh. Ooh, Vossler has telekinesis. But we don't. So, uh, go you, Vossler. And there appears to be a Bagoli. There he is. Hello, buddy. Don't mind if I murder you. Apparently he did mind, but he, there was nothing he could do about it. Uh... Okay, who was it? It was Bash! 
No, bash for Ash. Is it runs? I. I don't know, this wasn't a boss, but it was uh, quite a lot of the colors when I fought them in the trial mode. Oh! Here's the gambit's on. I don't want it to be on. Hi, Ether. That was a lot of gill as well. Oh, oh, let's look at his little face. Aww. Where am I going? Going Dune. Well, I expect that was Fran who leveled up. So, there it was. So, Fran for Pinello. Now, let's look at his little face! There you go. Isn't that an amusing little face? I think it's amusing. Okay. Yeah, I am doing this. I am doing this. Axe beak. There! Look at his amusing little face! It's not the same when it's not turning. It's easily identified by its band of coloured plumage, which rivals even that of the most exotic of jungle fowl. This creature makes its home in the sun-baked desert climbs of Ivelisse. Adventurers be warned, its cheerfully covered appearance belies a violent nature, and its beak is as sharp as the weapon after which it is named. Generally feeding upon small creatures, they have also been known to gather in packs for the hunting of larger prey. Let the egg sing of miracles, let it sing for the children. So pleads Kiris Andy in her latest song of Succor for the Orphans of War. Since ancient times, rainbow eggs have been prized as miracle food, a rich source of nutrition in a small, easily portable package. Recently, however, the egg's rich taste has attracted the appetites of the wealthy, the concomitant rise in pricing, lifting this amazing food out of reach of those who need it the most. Well, need it most. Anyway, yes, that's how we got the rainbow eggs before. Off this cockatrice, known as an axe beak. Look at its little face. Anyway, sorry about that. It's because I, I pressed it, I wouldn't know if I read it or not. So I had to read it. You see, I had to read it. <sighs> Let's go to the new area. After we kill this beggar all Right, it's dead now. We don't have to worry about it. Might have had a family and stuff. I hope not. Would have been like a Bagoli, spiky headed family. I've not read about them yet, so I don't know if they're evil or not. But let's assume that everything we kill is. And then our souls can rest easy. Ow. Ow. Oh, she looks, she used the uh, Phoenix down there. Neat. Into the next area we shall go. Now. Oh, yes. And, uh. Well, we're gonna ignore that guy down there here. And go onwards and upwards. Yay, a shop. Let's sell all our. Oh, it's dice again. Okay. Some advice. Okay, so yes. I think that starts the tortoise stuff. Anyway, let's sell the stuff we have.
We have a lot of money. Oh, new stuff to buy. <laughs> We're going to lose our lot of money. Oh, that's ten better. So it's this two. Three. Chopper. So I was trying to do the accent from the film Chopper, but I, uh... I can't remember any lines. What are you doing? Uh, crossbow. Alright, so, uh, one, two, three. Four. Yes? Oh, that's quite the improvement. Five. One of these will be for Van, and I don't know which one. Hmm. What does he use? Let's go to his license grid. He used Star. What are we doing? Musk stick. That's the one. Let's make sure everyone has their armor level free as well. Since. Yeah, there's armor free. Uh, I can't see anything of armor free there. Um, can't see her armor free. And. Uh, armor free. Oh, free. Okay, and we'll do the licenses after this. But let's buy. Yeah, I the tortoise thing. If I kill the tortoise, they'll give me an item to help me kill it. But I don't know where the tortoise is. So buy musk stick. There we go. Right, uh, by have to be okay. To two of these, come on, come. Let's sell the these first. It's not loads, but. I don't think I'm going to ever use it. Sounds like I might use that though. Uh, let's sell... Oh. Ooh! I thought I was on potions. I thought I had more of those. Let's sell 20 of those. So, ten of those. Okay, a bit more money. Okay. Oops, I wanted two. Okay. Heavy coats. Let's get one for Balthier. Strength down there. Two of these. Two of these. That's a straight upgrade, cool. Two of these. Getting expensive now, but this is the heavy gear. Winged Helm. You see, wouldn't it be cool if we could let you see him wear this stuff? Chainmail, two of these. And, well, I need that. Just 
So, one for you, and one for you. Golden shield, just the... Oh, two. And then everything else is weaker. Cool. So we've used all our money, but we did manage to buy everything we needed. Parts there evade right up. Oh, and a round shield. Right, and of course, sell everything we're not using. Alright, and we get a bit of our money back. Thank God we found all that money, because we would have ran out. Everyone should be a lot stronger now. Uh, ooh, these are potentially useful. Let's get one and see. Yeah, there we go. It's not going crazy. There is no save here, though. Now, do I go back like there and see? Or do I go forwards? Because I swear there's something with a tortoise. I'm going to run quickly. I'm going to avoid any enemies I see. I don't know how far back you have to go. But I'm sure there's something with a tortoise. Or an adamantoise, I think it will be. It's in the plains. It won't be up one of those things. Let's have a look on our map. See, I don't know where it'd be. Ah, oh, screw it. Doesn't help that much. I did not go up one of those last time. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, sorry about this. Where am I going? Down. Oh, please. Well, at least something helpfully woke me up. Let's get to the boss. And then we can swap to the other team. We'll know when we're there, because we'll see these guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Team 19. Turn these gambits on. Only Van need not gambit. I bet the turtle tortoise tortoise will be, SEO chart, whatever, uh, will be in the next screen now. You now have the option of saving your game. Well, that's ominous. Let's save my game. And I'll tell you what. <sighs> Should I let you go here? It seems like a good time. No, no, Ned. Let's go forwards. It's obviously going to be a boss. So let's 
Kill the boss. I mean, it's been like three videos and we've run around the desert. Hmm. It wasn't expecting cutscene. Is that Red 13 running at the top? Ah, oh, no, it isn't. But it is at King Wraithwall's tomb. Hopefully, we'll find the Dawn Shard there. Even though I thought that bloke had the Dawn Shard. Maybe it's a different shard. I'm not sure. Anyway, I think after the boss, the save point will turn up here, so I am not fast forwarding. There we go. Take a sip of orange. Mmm, orange. I hope it lands, because I have great difficulty hitting flying opponents. Haha! <laughs> Invincible, eh? Okay. I can't do anything because Van is, uh... Wow, I think I'm a bit overpowered. Wow. Yeah, no more training. Ah, I didn't need to kill a tortoise then. I didn't press any buttons then. I might have clicked attack and then I fell asleep and didn't press anything. So this is what it's like being able to afford all your armor and stuff. And we forgot to do the license grid stuff. So, it's not the most exciting way to end a video. Ooh, that's okay. Let's watch this. Take a sip. The ancient device stirs. Long ago, the gods granted their favor to King Wraithwall, who would oversee the ah. subjugation of a vast territory spanning from Mordalia to Valendia. Here, he forged the Galtean Alliance. Perhaps Though he is I called should've... the Dynast King, upon establishing Same. the alliance, he demonstrated compassion for his people and disdain for needless war. A philosophy passed on to his successors, one that would bring peace and prosperity for hundreds of years to follow. It was during this time of peace that the city-states of Arcadia and Rosaria, each members of Wraithwall's alliance, took root and flourished. Wraithwall left three relics signifying descent from the Dynast King. Of these, the Midlight Shard was given to what would become House Nebradia, and the Dusk Shard to my ancestors, the founders of Dalmasca. The last of these relics was the Dawn Shard. It remained hidden here, known only to those of royal blood. As though the Dynast King foresaw the very plight before us now. None save descendants of the King are suffered within. If we attempt to enter without proof of such lineage... There's no guarantee we'll make it out alive. Vicious beasts, fiendish traps, something like that. Mm-hmm. But you must consider the prize. The Dawn Shard lies within, and Wraithwall's treasure. And there was I, thinking this was going to be hard. So yes, so I'm a bit confused. Is there two Dawn Shards, or what was that piece of Magisite that um, Varn stole at the start of the game? Because I expect... Oh, there's a, the shop's moved on past. Anyway, we're going to save our game, and I expect we're going to teleport back to the city in the next adventure. But uh, I'm going to go sleep now, because uh, apparently I stayed up all night playing Final Fantasy XII International Edition is not a very good excuse for being dozy at work. So um, I will say goodbye to you.